Hi guys! Today we're going to make a mini fountain for home decor, and I'm so excited! Just imagine playing in the house and listening to the sound of a real water feature. Sue, so, we're gonna make a fountain from this? This doesn't look good! Sammy, we'll make a base from these foam sheets and then we'll cover it with cement. Oh, that sounds much better! It'll look like it's made from real stone! Our fountain will be made of two parts, a lower level with a pool and an upper level in the shape of a hill. Oh, <laughs> seems like Sam is busy with something. The upper level is mine! Wait for me and I'll surprise you! <laughs> and here we go! The proper shape is done! Can you see the contour, guys? Well, Sue, how are you doing here? I see you finished this layer. Yeah, but the pool isn't deep enough for my liking. Let's fix it right now. Two and three! That's much better. What's up with you, Sammy? Check this out, Susan! I'll call it Sam the Great Hill! Uh, uh, Sue, save me! <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you. I see that you cut holes in all the layers. Yeah, it's my upgrade. We'll hide a plastic tube in there so that water from the pool will rise to the top of the hill. Hmm, maybe we can upgrade the lower level too. Do you have any ideas? Let's make a mill wheel! <gasps> An elimination! These are great ideas. Sammy? Um, what? You know what I need. Oh no, Susan! Not the cookie! That's my last one! <laughs> no, silly. I just wanted to put two tubes inside the lower level to hide the wires. Hey, Ultimadaba! My cookie's safe! Guys, check this out. We'll place two tubes at an angle so that water from the pool won't come inside. It's time to glue all of the layers together. Whoosh, whoosh! <laughs> Go on, guys, add more glue to it! Be careful, Susan! Don't glue yourself to it! <laughs> I'll do my best, Sammy. All right, let's put two layers together like this. Oh, there's a nice view from here! Ouch! Careful! Sue, put me back! Glue yourself together, Sammy. It's almost done! Phew! That was a terrific roller coaster! By the way, did you see that our fountain doesn't have a base? Yeah, that's why I made this ground level from foam board. There you go. And finally, this is our Sam the Great Hill. I like this name. Oh yeah, let's cover it all with cement. So what do we need? Guys, I'll give you the easiest recipe. To make a cement mixture, we'll take water. And cement powder, of course. Okay, give me something to do too. Well, we just need one more ingredient. The sand. Oh, that's easy. Guys, let's go digging in the garden. And the cement mixture is ready. Check this out, guys. It's time to do some magic. Sue, so, it's not a magic thing. We'll just cover the base with cement. You're partially right, Sammy. But it certainly looks cool, huh? Well, I definitely want to see the final result. How long are you going to do this? Oh, right. I have to mention that we'll need to make several cement layers and wait for each of them to dry. Holy cannoli! That's a lot of time! Uh, I need to distract myself. Hmm, what does a real crafter need for work? Ha! <laughs> Anything! All right, guys, we're on the right path. Let's just add more cement on the other side. Sammy, it seems like you have something in mind. Oh yeah, y'all gonna love this. Go on, Susan. The first layer is ready. Let's place the gauze on top. There you go. Hmm, that's right. And what about this one? What are these measurements for, Sammy? Care to share with us? No, no, it's confidential information, Susan! <laughs> okay, you'll tell us when it's time. Hey, we finished the gauze layer, guys! Let's add the second layer of the cement mixture, then. Whoa, Sue! You're doing awesome! We made it even faster this time. Now let it dry for several hours. Sue, I finished the design! We're gonna build a house on top of the fountain! Cool, let me see! Um, Sammy, isn't it too abstract? Well, maybe I get carried away a little, but I already cut all pieces out of a foam board. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks just right! Let's build the house then! Hey! It turned out even better than on my picture! Our little house needs more decor. Sammy, could you bring the tile, please? And I'll take care of the texture. Got it! Ugh, it's so heavy! Sammy? Oh, okay, Sue. I'm coming. There you go. Thanks, Sammy. Let's see. This tile is made from foam. This foam is also called flexible suede and is often used in handiwork. Sue, check this out. We can place these bars on top of the roofs. 
Great, Sammy. Just let me finish here. Ugh, master, please! I can't hold him any longer! Ah! You're just unbearable, Samuel. That's it. Now let's paint all the walls. Guys, you can pick whatever color you want. Yeah, everything you can imagine. From bright pink to earwax color! <laughs> That's something new. Anyway, Sammy, do you have anything for me? Never use it, but yes, I do. All houses should have windows and doors. Well, all traditional houses at least. Guys, let's count all the windows here. One. And two. Oh, that's the highest one. The third one is on the sidewall. Hello, neighbors. And one more. Although it's not a window, but a flower bed. Don't mess with us, Sammy. Ah, uh, flowers under the windows will be perfect. Ah, what a nice scent. Let's add some stones to the walls. It'll make them look more real. Guys. Watch your hands when working with the hot glue gun. Wow, let's count the stones too! 10, 11, 12. Oh no, I give up, there are too many of them! Check out these stones, guys! They don't look quite real just yet. Let's color them. I'll do it! It'll take you too long! Like this, Sue! That's how you do it! Sammy, just admit that you wanted to color them by yourself. And you did a really great job! I'll add some green moss on the walls for a more natural look. And I'll cover the fountain with a third and final layer of cement. The most exciting part is yet to come! Finally, after several hours, the cement dried out. All this time, Sue and I were thinking about how we could upgrade the fountain and… The first piece is a water slide. It'll be right on top of the hill. Then the water will flow here through a mill wheel. Whoosh! And fall into the pool. Cool, right? Now I'm gonna make the mill wheel. It was my greatest idea for today. <laughs> and while Sammy's creating stuff, let's make the slide. We'll use some clay for it. Don't you think it's too simple for your skills, Susan? Don't worry about me, Sammy. I'll find some use for my crafting skills, too. Guys, check out how flexible this modeling clay is. You can make whatever you want. Even the mill wheel? Even a wheel like this one. But we need a rotating mill wheel, so keep working. Okay, we are done with the molding clay. Keep your pace, but remember that the clay will gradually solidify. Why are you just telling me that now? This wood could have stuck to me forever! <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy, it'll take the whole day anyway. <gasps> it already looks so good! I can't wait to see it with the water flowing down. Ahem! <laughs> I think you forgot something, Susan! Whoops! <laughs> My bad. Guys, we'll cover the fountain with acrylic paint to make it look more realistic. Add more color here, Sue! No, no, here too! And there as well! Now, go down a bit, Sue! Sammy, maybe you can do it by yourself. Slimes are good at decorating! It looks amazing, Sammy! Well done! So, look, do I look like a helicopter? <laughs> Sammy! Guys, check out our wheel! Sue, but what is this thing? We need this bearing to make our mill wheel spin! Well, I can teach it a proper spin! Whoa! <laughs> You're a pro at this! But we can't do it, cause water will just spray everywhere! Oh no! I don't want to clean up that mess then! Sue, there's a little gift for you! Oh, a water pump! Guys, we'll use it to send water up to the top of the fountain! But it won't work without a battery! Be prepared! And we also need an intensity regulator! If you don't know what that looks like, just google it! Or ask an adult! You'll need their help at this stage anyway! Okay, the mechanism is ready! The next thing we'll do is… Glue the house to the top of the hill! Oh, what a view! And do the same with the mill wheel here! The epoxy resin is ready, Sue! Let's make it glow! Guys, we'll cover our fountain with two layers of epoxy resin. It'll make it shiny and create a water protection barrier. Wow! Check this out, it's so cool! You got it, right? Then continue by yourself. I believe in you! Wait until it sets! A little bit more… Even more… Okay, now you can check this out! Looks awesome, right? And I added some decor by myself! Whoa! Sammy already set the pump and steam generator! Guys, do you want to see the result? I know you do! <laughs> Let's go!
sounds of the water are so calming. Nothing can distract me. Wee! I'm coming! Guys, make room for me too! The water looks so refreshing! Um. Grow my dear weed Faster and faster uh, da, da, da. Susie, sweetheart How's it going there? The weed is growing, but when will our mill be ready? Well, first you need to approve the project Huh, okay, yes, great, good, good So just what we need Wait, will the blades actually spin? Of course are you planning to put electricity? Oh, it's described in the project. Look. We need to hurry up. The wheat will ripen soon and we'll have to make the flour. For what? Pizza, of course. Oh, then we need to start building right away. So, Farmer Sam approved the project and it's time to get started. Today we're going to make a craft using these adorable mini bricks again. Yay! Only you can make this world seem bright. Oh, what is that? That disgusting smell. This is a fertilizer. I agree it's not the nicest smell, but it's very good for our young plants. Oh, I hope he comes up with an idea of airing the room. Anyway, let's begin constructing. We'll start with the base. We'll need a concrete mixture like this. Our mill will be standing on a platform. That is why we apply our mixture right here. There we go. And as usual, carefully, brick by brick, we start building our house. This task needs patience. And the last brick goes here. Let's carefully remove the extra material. We are quite thrifty builders. <laughs> You're toxic, I'm slipping oh, Are you just gonna wander around? What's this? It's poison! Some bad insects wanna eat my plants. How did they get in our house at all? I don't know, but they better not eat my wheat. Oh, you get carried away so easily. <laughs> and so you know, I started building the walls of our mill. It's important not to rush. We don't want our mill to be crooked, right? I always try to do my best to make it look perfect. Here goes another one. Did you notice that today we're using bricks with different colors? There will be small windows in the walls as well. It will be very bright inside. And a door, of course. Huh? Guys, have you ever taken care of plants in your garden or at home? Sammy and I love plants, all kinds of them. Once, I tried to grow roses. They even bloomed. <laughs> and then guess what happened to them? So will I ever hear the end of it? I wanted to surprise you with a bouquet. I'm <laughs> not mad at you, but it made me happy growing naturally. It's no big deal. The next year you got even more beautiful flowers. I helped them. Let's begin the construction of the second floor. For this, we'll need a platform like this. By the way, multi-leveled cakes are made the same way. There's a platform between oh, each layer. Stop watching me! I can't even eat a piece of cake without your surveillance. Sammy, you have an outstanding ear. Sometimes you don't hear important things, and then you react to any nonsense. <sighs> A cake is not nonsense, it's a culinary art. But I ate all of it. <laughs> I knew it. I shouldn't leave sweets in plain view. If I don't speed up, there will only be wrappers and dirty plates left around the house. A bit of craft magic won't do any harm. Wow! The result's even better than I expected. Whoa, Sue, the construction is... Uh-huh. Uh, head of schedule. You're a super architect. Could you tell us a little bit more about the process? Mm-hmm. As usual, some bricks, concrete, and a couple of tricks. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. On the upper floor, there is a special place with a hole. We'll install the mill's blades there. On the third floor, we'll hide the mechanism to make our construction function. 
Oh, I almost forgot to clear the joints. Sammy, bring the sponge, please. Aye, aye, Captain. Who lives in that kitchen along with the dishes? SpongeBob foam pants. <laughs> Let's hurry up and decorate the joints. First, we need to wipe it nicely with the sponge. It's more convenient to apply the grout using a syringe. The spout is thin enough to apply the material exactly between the bricks. In a real house, the grout is needed not only for decoration. It makes the brick walls more resistant, hermetic, and prolongs the lifetime of the whole building. I think I already told you guys, but this white grout reminds me of a meringue. <laughs> a little more. Now, let's remove the extra grout with a cloth. Oh, looks beautiful. Sue, what's this? It looks like a spaceship part. You're close enough. These are the energy efficient technologies. We're going to install this solar panel on the roof to make the mill blade spin. Does that mean your mill will be eco-friendly? Exactly. It's the cleanest electricity, Sammy. I think only wind power is cleaner. Interesting, a windmill with a solar panel. <gasps> then it's a sunmill, Sue. Oh, I never thought about it. You're right, then it's a sunmill. <laughs> Pay attention, sweetheart. Actually, there's no difference if it's wind or sun. I only want my wheat to be safe. But was it really in danger? Yes, a couple of times. First, there were the insects. Uh, you made them up. They were there. Disgusting black, smelling like a vanilla. Sammy, I guess your wheat was threatened by cookie crumbs. <laughs> Oopsie. I poisoned cookies. Now it's not edible. Well, Mr. Gardner, what else besides cookies infringed on your crops? Fluffy. I don't know what happened to him, but he wanted to dig something out. He was attracted by the smell of your fertilizer. He wanted to bury it. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, can't you just stop making fun of me? Not sure. <laughs> you could at least read some books on gardening. Ugh, I'm gonna watch some videos on YouTube and check if everyone gave us a thumbs up. Oh, guys, quick, give a thumbs up to all the videos. Otherwise, Sam's going to be sad, I'm sure. Oh, yes, and don't forget to subscribe. Just press one button. Meanwhile, I am almost done with the last part of the mechanism. Hooray! The filling for our mill is completely ready. We just need to assemble everything. I want to decorate the second floor of the mill. Now, it looks a little boring. Here comes our concrete mixture and cross like bricks. Now, we'll make a couple of metal sidings. We can place some flower sacks on them. Or decorate them with flowers. Let's start the docking like this. The docking was successful. We better ask the opinion of our great decorator when he's done studying gardening. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if he can tell me any new facts after he finishes his research. Oh, <gasps> what if he invents a new kind of wheat which grows from candies? <laughs> you know what I read on the internet? Surprise me. Plants also live on solar energy. Ugh, sunlight hates them. And then happens the photo... Uh, photo snickers. <laughs> Did you mean photosynthesis? Oh, right. I just thought about snickers. Anyways, uh, photo snick... I mean, synthesis helps plants produce oxygen. Yep, it's amazing. Can I tell more while assembling the mill's mechanism? You have the floor, colleague. Oopsie! <laughs> so... Plants function a little more complicated than our solar panel. They consume carbon dioxide exhaled by humans and produced by cars and get nutrients and water through their roots. Interesting, right? Then, with the help of light, plants digest everything inside of them and save something for growing. 
The rest goes into the atmosphere. This includes oxygen. That's why it's so good to stay outdoors. Plants allow us to breathe fresh air. Holy cannoli! I'll go kiss my wheat! It's so cool! <laughs> yeah, plants are real hard workers. Hey, check out how hard I worked. Everything according to the project. Uh-huh, yep, yep, uh, very, very good. Better than the project. Let's test it right away. Sure, but first we need to connect the wires of the mechanism. We do it by colors. Red connects to red. Black to black. Easy peasy. Perfect, come with me. So windmill, it's your big moment. Catch the sunlight. Uh, we need more light. Let's open the window. <gasps> Sammy, how much longer? I want to try the result of your work. I didn't have breakfast. Signora Susanna Prego, don't rush your maestro pizzaiolo. Oh, Sam, you're a master of transformations. A moment ago, you were a grumpy farmer, and now you're an Italian? <laughs> Susanna! Susanna! Almost ready! Susanna! Susanna, mi amor! Awesome! Guys, we did a great job today. By the way, how did you like our craft? I guess it deserves tons of thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Sammy! Uh, I'll go check if our fart... I mean, the great pizza YOLO needs any help. Bye bye See you next time! <laughs>